Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In the previous tutorial, we tried to discuss about uh, single factor experimental design analysis using the X, uh, XPDS uh, package or experimental design package. And we tried to see about uh, CRD and randomized uh, complete block design and even uh, Latin square design. So today we'll continue uh, using the factorial experiment and again we will uh, compute the factorial CRD uh, using the experimental design or XP EXPDS uh, package. So the model for the uh, computing factorial uh, experiment more specifically for a completely randomized design is uh, the function is uh, FA2 which stands for factorial 2 means when you have uh, two factors and dot CRD uh, indicates that you are you are want to compute the uh, CRD design. So then immediately the first one is uh, the factor one and followed by the factor two and uh, recipe means it is the response variable that you are going to uh, compute and the qualitative is equal to here is true true. That means you are telling to R both my factors are uh, qualitative. So if you, if you want to compute the uh, quantitative, so you have to uh, say here instead of true, uh, false. But the problem with this, this with this package is uh, you will not uh, get a multiple uh, comparison uh, test when your factor are uh, quantitative. So our um, data is um, qualitative, so we uh, we can say uh, true. Then again, the factors name, so you can label. For example, your factor is maybe it's nitrogen, so you can assign here uh, or whatever. You can write anything that you want. Maybe if your factor is in the form of acronymy, so you can write the full uh, length. So these are the model for the factorial experiment for CRD design. So I already imported my uh, data or our data. And as you can see here, the first factor is variety and the second factor is the plant growth regulator. And under the variety, uh, we will have uh, how we variety, Cora, uh, Milka, uh, and Dagen uh, varieties. While in the case of the plant growth regulator, are CCC, Bonzi, and PBZ. So this helps us to control the uh, vegetative growth, more specifically plant date, uh, and etc. So let's back to uh, our um, discussion then. Our data name is FA, so you have to attach FA and you can see, uh, okay, there is no data, let's import it. This is in the form of Excel and you can get this from the uh, desktop. Yeah, it's FA, exactly. Yeah. So let's attach FA, then if you want to see the names of the column, so you have to use this function. And the first column is a replication, the second column is our factor, the second column is again the second factor, and the remaining are the response variable. So uh, we have to, you have to just write this directly into this and followed by PGR and followed by the response variable that you want to carry on. So obviously you will compute all the response variables that you have, but for the for the sake of the tutorial, I use the plant aid and it's qualitative because it's variety and the uh, plant growth regulator. As you can see here, here they are uh, qualitative, if they are not quantitative or they are not represented by a numerical value or number. Then the multiple comparison test, you can refer one of uh, our tutorial regarding to the XPDS uh, or experimental design package and there are a number of method of multiple comparison test and one point here if your uh, treatment uh, is quantitative uh, you will not uh, get a multiple comparison test then the factor uh, or the factors name you can assign for example varies the full name is variety 
and PGR is a plant growth regulator. So you can assign on the basis of your treatment type. So type this and submit to our studio, and you are you are familiar with the concept of significant T and significant F. Significant uh, or sig T it is the default for multiple comparison uh, test is 0.05, and the default is 0.05 for uh, the F table uh, for uh, ANOVA. So uh, it is obvious. Then type this and submit to our uh, studio. So this is the result and a little bit differ from the previous factorial uh, arrangement. So here is the legend, the factor 1 is variety, the factor 2 is a plant growth regulator, and it, here is the analysis of variance. So all uh, variety, uh, the main effect as well as the interaction effect of uh, variety in the plant growth regulator are statistically significant since their uh, p-value is less than 0 0.05. As you can see here in the variety 0 0.03, in the plant growth regulator is 0 0.03, and the interaction is 0 0.0. Two, even our CV is small, which is uh, good. And the other important point from this package is you, get, you have the possibility to check the normal, uh, the normal assumption. And as you can see, the p-value is 0 0.85, which is uh, good than 0 0.05. So it's non-significant. Non-significance means there is the presence of a normal distribution, or residual can can be considered as uh, normal. Then, when you come to their uh, interaction, analysis of interaction, the first one is uh, analysis of variety inside the level of the plant growth regulator. So, we have three plant growth regulators like Bonzi, CC, and PVZ. So, we will uh, check each uh, their all uh, variety with Bonzi. As you can see here, it's, statistically significant. Uh, it's not statistically significant because the p-value is 0 0.06. And when you come to when you check variety with the plant cross regulator CC, it is significant because the p-value is less than 0 0.05. And uh, when we come to the uh, variety with uh, plant cross regulator PVZ. It's not statistically significant, so we all, we get only what the Bonzi with other variety are uh, significant. So let's see their um, their uh, multiple comparison test. And here is a variety inside the level of Bonzi, which is the p-value 0.06. So we are not expecting the significant difference because their p-value is greater than 0 0.05 so no multiple uh, comparison test so dug in how we call uh, milka on the bonzi uh, or the interaction of bonzi with all this variety are not statistically significant and let's proceed to the second plant growth regulator still we are a variety inside the plant growth regulator cc see then as you can see here uh, Cora, Dagem, and Milka are statistically significant, differ from that of what how we uh, variety. But uh, Cora, Dagem, and Milka within each other are not statistically significant. And let's check the variety with CC. As you can see here, the p value is 0 0.045, which is significant. And then, lastly, a variety inside the plant, PVZ of what plant grows regulated. So, uh, as you be seen before, the p-value is 0 0.34, it's not, uh, it's not statistically significant, so we are not expecting the multiple uh, comparison uh, tests. So, uh, these are the varieties at the level of uh, uh, PVZ of plant growth regulator. Across all uh, varieties, there is no statistical significance differ within that of the PVZ. Then, uh, let's analyze the plant grows regulator inside the each level of variety. Previously, we seen anal uh, analysis of uh, varieties inside the level of each uh, plant grows regulators. So, as you can see here, the plant uh, grows regulator with a variety dagger is not statistically significant, and we are not expecting the multiple comparison. And again, here the plant growth regulator uh, 
interaction with the variety how we is statistical significance in the p values less than 0 0.05 and uh, the remaining two milka and cora interaction with the plant grows or later are not statistical significance in their p values uh, greater than 0 0.05 so we are only expecting the multiple comparison test with the plant grows each uh, plant grows uh, level with uh, how we variety but the remaining are not statistically uh, significant so we are not expecting their multiple uh, comparison tests so as you can see here in the diagram there is no statistical significant difference with the bonzi cc and pvz uh, plant across regulators and continue to how we and uh, continue comparing to how we variety there is statistically significant difference because the p value is 0 0.0 to see it, which is uh, less than 0 0.05 so we are expecting uh, multiple comparisons so uh, in the uh, the effect of uh, how we variety in the pvz as well as uh, bonzi are similar but differ with that of uh, cc so the remaining we are not expecting the uh, multiple comparison tests since they are not statistically significant so this is uh, all about today's tutorial regarding to the factorial CRD using the experimental design package using our software. So I'll put all the code and the data uh, for your uh, practice in the description box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.